Feel me time. Come on, grab your friends. Run to weary gay lands. Feel me the only in your mom the hoe. Fun will end here. It's feel me time. All right, how's it going, guys? Yomi here, and today, instead of doing the uh, normal creepy story, we're gonna go back. Right, we're gonna go back to the life stories, and this is kind of gonna be a continuation of that one story I told with the spooky mansion, the horrors mansion, and basically. This is my can the owner. I'm gonna talk about the owner and talk about how she was like absolutely insane or she was just on that that good stuff. But anyways, let's get right into it. Alright, so the owner, first of all, we thought automatically was just crazy because, you know, she was selling this mansion for really cheap. And uh, you know, we took it because, you know, if I can it's a mansion, so yeah, we took it. And um she, she she was just weird, all right. Like she had like two kids, and I used to play with them a lot. Also, like really weird. Had this sense of like, what the fuck? Like uh, you look like a uh, fucking you look fucking scary. But um, anyways, basically, right after we started seeing like this scary stuff in the house, that I had explained like you know we had seen like footprints and like really just really bizarre stuff to us. She, she she says that she does black magic after she says this, right? Black magic. And I'm like, huh, that's just crazy. And we probably we thought that this girl was just, like, on something because, you know, she one time tried to chase me. Uh, yeah, she literally tried to chase me, and she was screaming random fucking shit. I don't know. Maybe it's her black magic, but she was screaming it. And all of a sudden, like, she was screaming at me and chasing me around the house. I was like, yeah, fuck you. Get away from me. I was just running for my life. And at the time, when I was a kid, I thought she was, like, a demonic fucking lady bitch. But, um, but it doesn't end there, right, guys? This person was very, like, very, I don't like using this word, but a gold digger, all right? And she did this thing where she would find someone who has a lot of money, and we're talking lots of money, and, yeah, would basically scam them. <laughs> would basically try to make them fall in love and they would just like instantly hit it off and then she would just either dupe the guy or just like force the guy to give her money and it, got, it was kind of scummy it's pretty scummy but uh she, she was just like fucking weird and to be honest at the time i thought like she was giving us all these bad vibes and actually so did my parents my parents were like yes yeah, she's kind of crazy and she's talking about black magic in this spooky house i don't know man i don't know also i remember another memory she came by like when we were first moving in she came by and said hi and she was left she she had something like she said something weird when she left like i sat down in a chair next to the table because i was gonna munch on some food and uh, it was the same kitchen i saw those footprints in and I sat down, and the table, while I was eating, just fell on me. I was like, ah, oh, nice, I'm just eating my bread here and just gonna fall? Okay, cool. <laughs> I don't know how, I don't know if that has anything to relate to her, but I, I believe that she did something. And I feel like she taught her kids some of this weird, wonky, doodle stuff, or maybe, I don't know, man. She was just, like, weird with this black magic demonic shit that was, she was pulling I don't know what she was doing, but it scared me a lot, alright, I was, I was spooked, so very spooked, so, so were my parents, my parents were like, fuck this, we're out, and we left, so, <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed this video, it's been Naomi, and yeah, it's just a short story for today, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video, it's been Naomi, and I'll see you guys in the next one.